I did mention that I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing this, but you know what? I guess it is my lucky day. So today we're gonna have a look at the 7 Lucky God G-Shock watch, specifically the uh, DW5600 version. I believe it is called the Hote Song, something, something like that. And this will be the first time ever I unbox this kind of series on the channel. Uh, look at that, it has this black box with gold, rose gold fonts, and apparently it looks better in person as you guys see right now. Didn't really think that I'm gonna be purchasing this at all, but you know what? Now that I have it on hand, kind of changed my mind a little bit on that. It looks pretty good. This is the barcode, more Hote Song Kanji. And this is how it looks like on the inside. You could pull it out on one side. And this is the box. It is incredibly, feels solid. So this is a cardboard box. I was expecting to receive uh, this kind of material. So got quite a huge surprise over here. More uh, traditional kanji over here, and same thing again over here. And this is the artwork that was made by the artist. I forgot his name. I'm not really a fan of this, you know. Just gonna be honest on that. I don't really believe in all this anyway. So this is just, uh, to me, it's just more like an art. And it is indeed beautiful the way that the artist makes the, uh, I believe this is the break dance. Oh yeah, street style soccer with this team with this god Hote Song, a god of um, lucky luck a god that invite luck to you so I guess uh, same just happened to me I found this uh, at a really really good deal uh, a lot lower than the retail price really so I guess this will be my luck <laughs> yeah so that's why uh you know what give this thing a chance I found this at a good price anyway I, I don't think it's gonna be a huge loss any at all so this is how the god was portrayed in here a uh, god of abundance where it has enough so that's explain this big pile of food. He always been portrayed holding a staff and also a, f a fan over here. That is it. And look at that. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is interesting. Oh, they utilize that the one on the uh, sneaker freaker kind of watch stand. So that's pretty interesting. And this is the manual book 3229 or 3421, which is similar as any Square G Shock watch that you can find out there. Except since it is now a collaboration and special limited edition models, the price will be significantly higher. So, hold on, let me take this one out. I believe most of you guys already seen the watch anyway. This one was released somewhere on November of last year. So, this is not a huge surprise anymore at this time. It's like almost half a year now. And surprisingly, the, uh, the price uh, didn't uh, went up at all, so that's why I could afford this. I like that a lot. I like the tone, I like the way that they make this. So far, so good. I'm very impressed with this uh, packaging and all. This is indeed for collectors, by the way. So that's why this packaging, the box really matters. It looks, it looks really good in person. I'm very, very surprised, just so you know. But the watch on its own are just the same. It is a positive display square G-Shock watch with a black accent around that uh, display panel over there. So there's something new, I gotta say that. White accents on the watch face, more of a grayish tone to match with this gray base band and bezel as you guys can see at the back. It looks more like a whitish but it is actually a lighter tone of gray with more gray tone painting on top. More of a traditional kind of uh, ink I would say. The buckle will have Castle Japan sign, the back plate will have DLU-5600 SLG for 7 Lucky Gods, stainless steel back made in China, DH, water resistant 20 bar, and the back plate seems very very nice, very nicely done, the, the stamps just very, just beautiful, the finishing is just beautiful, I'm impressed with this. And by the way, the China is where all this originated from anyway, so you really can't complain if the watch was made in China, I mean, it fits with the team, with everything at all. The history is indeed based on China, right? Right? So, G-Shock, uh, Shichi Fukujin stands for 7 like a god, Hote Song, EL backlighting, 20 bar water resistant, retails at 16,500 Japanese yen. This is the price tag, so that's it. Just all black with white uh, lettering. So the back part, again, simple. This is how the overall piece looks like. This is the staff again that he's holding. This is the pine tree all over it. And some sort of stone down here and more pine tree and this is the back just now but that should be the same pattern that you could find on this box over here and i believe yeah that's exactly the same pattern look at that the stuff over here the pine tree over here 
Yep, the same pattern on this uh, watch stand was placed on this watch body with a obviously the fan over here, which looks to be different from the one on the box. Look at that. But he always been portrayed with a man holding on to a fan. So this is it. That's why they have it over there. That's explain the pattern. That's explain the design. And other than that, it's just, just a simple square watch, okay? For the function-wise, obviously, they didn't change at all since the modules are still the same, which means the function are just the same. Dated and time at home time, you'll have alarm with specific date set up and signal uh, or the chime. You'll have a countdown timer, which should be right on over here, and timekeeping on top. And you also have your, hold on, go back to home time, but yeah. Stopwatch will be over here, and split time over here, right? Stop. And let's move it on to the next and we will go back to home time keeping so very very basic function very basic sizing you could even take the band and bezel out and put it on your other g-shock watch if you wanted to because this the size are just the same what makes this thing differs is all of this is doing right now The colorway, the design is, this is the same as any square, but something about the color, all of these tiny little details really will differentiate between you and the other guy on the street wearing G-Shock, square G-Shock watch that is. And since this is a square G-Shock watch, it is acceptable, the size is already acceptable. And the color is not as vibrant as this guy, it is not as pale. Well, Casio did release this during winter season of last year, so the color explains that. And yeah, even though I I said that I'm going to be purchasing the GBD8 or oh, the GA800, was it? But you know what? This is just enough. Just enough. This is just enough to me. Not a big fan still, but if you are, if you, then you are. If you don't, then you don't. No pressure here. Just, just showing you guys how it looks like, alright? Well, I forgot to say, show you guys the light, right? This has the S logo since this is the third release. You have G, you have a dash over there for the uh, baby G version over here, and you have this S for G Shock. So, this one has this logo as the backlighting logo, and that's it. Okay, that's done. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about this G Shock watch. If you are interested about the watch, I hope this video helped to propel. Uh, help you out making this decision whether you should buy the watch right away or not just pass on this or moving on with other uh, color series or other variations out there okay thank you very much for watching this is Jasha and I'll watch on